So we're gonna do the Ford method of conversation. We drive a Volkswagen. It's not a car. It's That's how you spell the car. It's also how you walk across a river. Or am I thinking of portaging? Yeah. How do you Ford across a river? I don't know, I think a portage might be a car too. Oh no, Sportage, Kia. Portage is we a town We drive in a Volkswagen. I'm not talking about cars anymore. The Ford method which is meant for talking to strangers, getting through small talk, basically. We take each other for granted. We're distracted with our phones, with, with our, our baby. Child. child, she's not a baby anymore, but. She's, she'll always be our baby. Yeah. This might help us too. Get down to the basics. Family. What was your relationship with your brother like? He's like eight years older than me. He was in high school and he threw a party and I really wanted to be all up in it. I'm sure being incredibly annoying, but he did lock me in the garage. Oh wow. Yeah, he like got me to go in there, blockaded it. Wow, our dog farted and it smells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is your relationship like with your sister growing up? She's six years older. Tickle torture, I think I'm traumatized by it. Oh my gosh. I am yeah. definitely traumatized by that. She likes cats a lot, I don't. My first cat was Tigger. We had to get rid of him. You came along and you were allergic. There's a lot of music I know because she listened to it. Janet Jackson CDs, the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. You yes. love the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. Yes, I do. Oh, my sister basically grew us together. And my dad, he worked in the same factory for 35 years or so. And I think because of that, that's my idea of what a job is. And I feel like that work ethic has carried over into what I do now. So thank you, dad. My mom is a nurse. I thought that maybe I wanted to be a nurse long enough to actually go to nursing school. Boy, I'm glad I didn't do that. I have one living grandparent. I left. also have one living grandparent. Left. They lived on a lake. I learned how to fish because of it and it was awesome. My grandfather took me fishing a lot. You liked fishing? Yeah. Huh. We should go fishing. I don't want to. Mm. Did you always want to have a family? I did. Grow up and have babies. Now you want to have baby. I want to have had baby. My parents are great parents. Aside from, you know, they're always scrolling on the phone and yelling and my dad's always reading weird things. They didn't tend to do that. <laughs> yeah. Like the best parents I could possibly ask for, and their relationship with each other was really good. That probably caused me to get married so late in life. Had such high standards. Highest standards, baby. I love you. I'm not saying that, you know, other people that I dated were bad people, just that, you know, they weren't <laughs> great for me in case they somehow see this. Everybody I dated before sucked. <laughs> I always think about like how I was able to get where I am today. I was able to be dumb and make stupid mistakes my whole adult life because I knew that I had my parents to fall back on. So it's because of my parents that I'm where I am. Wow, what a talk just from one simple topic brought to you by the Ford Method. No, it's not. Sponsored by Ford, not the car. But it's not. What? Sponsored by Ford. No. But it is sponsored by Scentbird. Thank you, Scentbird. No, Scentbird isn't a bunch of fragrant birds. It's a fragrant subscription service. You choose a new fragrance to try out every month for just $17. So you can say goodbye to stinky mail. It's gonna be so fragrant, at least from Scentbird it is. You should probably halt that subscription to manure that you have. Stinks up the mail. Scentbird is a place to begin to deepen your relationship with fragrances. To discover your style. And to build your collection. If you don't know where to start, you can just head over to their fragrance recommendation quiz and they will help you out. But are there enough choices? There's over 600 designer brands. Yeah, but are the brands any good? They're top brands. Prada, Gucci, Versace, and indie labels like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. Not Confessions of the Empire because they're the bad guys in Star Wars. Vials are eight times bigger than regular perfume samples. See how handy they are? You can just pop them in your little baggie. Or your pocket. Or your mouth. No, not your mouth. So the Ford method of conversation is about being confident when you talk to people. But here's a subtle little hack you can have to be more confident. People like to be around things that smell good. Think about it. Do you know anyone who owns a skunk? I do. Except for Carl, not you, Carl. Granted, dogs and cats smell bad too, but that's why they bathe them, and that's why you should bathe, and you should do something a little special. I got four something special. Burberry London for men, when I want that tobacco, leather, cinnamon, lavender, guaiac wood smell. Mm, reminds me of the three weeks I spent in London, now I want fish and chips. Blimey. Confessions of a rebel morning after, for that lemony, lavender, geranium, patchouli, tonka bean. Tonk about refreshing, am I right? Tommy Bahama Maritime, sailing the high seas on my bergamot, pink pepper, and cedar wood boat. Smells like adventure. Is that a shark? Memoir Cabin Retreat. Atlas, cedarwood, oak, moss, and sandalwood. Shiver their timbers, am I right? <laughs> so much wood. It's actually what I was wearing when I was talking to China. How do I smell right now? Like a really sexy tree. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good thing? Yeah. yeah. I've always thought of myself as a sexy tree. You know when you're walking in the woods and you're like, damn. The tree looks 
Good. I hate to watch you go, but I love to watch your leaves. I was sitting here trying to think of that pun that whole time. It's flexible, so you can skip any month without penalty. You can also upgrade to receive two or three a month. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply. Try it out before you get a full bottle. Make sure to click the link below and use code WW55 for 55% off your first month of Scentbird. That's only about $8 a month. And I also have some exciting news. So put down that poutine and hold on to your toque. It's also now available in Canada. What? Okay. Thank you. Now. Back to the list. Want to talk about occupation? Yes, I don't have one. Uh, uh, I keep a child alive. And I still want to figure out what I want to be when I grow up. I don't want to never be in the workforce again. This is great. Thank you for making coffee for me. All right. Can I have it back? Mm -mm. Okay. What jobs did, have you had? Wendy's. I loved that job. And I was really good at it. I was like really good at it. <laughs> Excuse me, burped. Did you have little Wendy's before this? I had a little Wendy's. Briefly left Wendy's to work at Steak and Shake. It was terrible. When what was, was different about Steak and Shake? Having to wait on a table. The customers at the Steak and Shake were not great. It's not gonna be people who are there interested in an evening of dining. Most people are probably think of it as fast food when they go there. Steak and Shake didn't know what it was supposed to be. That's yes. the problem. I know, and now there's Chick-fil-A there. Oh, see? Yeah. Know what you are supposed to be. And while I was in nursing school, I got a job mm -hmm. at our hospital. It was really hard. I was there from like 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I really did like it. There are patients that I took care of there that I still remember. The things that I didn't like was that it was often so busy that you didn't really get to spend time with your patients. I really like learning more about the human body. You're great at it. I always defer to you with all health matters. I'm really good at it. You I can are. see why. The bank, default collections or whatever, and that was terrible. Calling people to tell them you're behind on your mortgage, and it felt real good to quit that job. I can't remember if I put in my two weeks notice or not. Should we call them? Yeah. And then I met you. You suggested to have some experience waiting tables before I moved because there's a lot of restaurants in Chicago. So I got a job at Texas Roadhouse. I also loved that job so much. Square dance. And got to dance. It was really fun. <laughs> and then I moved to Chicago and I worked at Mighty Nice, which was one of my favorite jobs that I've ever had. That doesn't exist anymore, which is really sad because they had the best French onion soup of all time. The I cookie see. skillet? Mm, sounds like you like service. I think I just like talking to people. I like to juggle a lot of moving parts. Okay, I gotta do this, 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 this. Like, oh, it feels so good. Big time taskmaster when it comes to um, watching Taskmaster. Yes. But I also, do. you just plan so efficiently. I just do the bare minimum of what I have to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just below the mm -hmm. bare minimum. And I know it always works out. It works out if it's me by myself. If things that aren't working out, I just suffer and I'm fine with it. Mm -hmm. It's hard to do too when you've got a kid who's like, where are my lions? And you're like, oh, I don't know. I left them at home. Get over it. You need a toothbrush? What? I don't know. <laughs> that sucks. There's a use store your, down the street. Use your finger. Go here. Here's a dollar. Mm -hmm. My second best job I ever had, Cardinal Video in Marshall, Wisconsin, my hometown. Doesn't exist anymore. Your hometown doesn't exist anymore? Nope. Oh my gosh, that's Not, terrible. Our daughter is there. Just was surrounded by movies. I'd constantly walk the aisles and look at movies and like read the backs of them and take them home for free and watch them and play video games at work. It wasn't really a job, actually. There were some like 10 hour days that I worked. I'm not even sure if it was legal. <laughs> I didn't care. How old were you? 15. Woo. I worked cashier at a grocery store. Hated that job. And I worked as a caterer, the Monona Terrace in Madison. I cleaned the public spaces of a Comfort Inn hotel. I didn't mind it. I didn't really have to interact with anybody. I was just cleaning stuff. And I edited video at the education department at the UW Madison while I was going to UW. They would go to like high school, study different teaching methods. And I would edit those videos. I was kind of bored by the content, but I loved editing. And my boss was really fun. And we would like do dumb videos on the side. Mm -hmm which is what I end up doing for a living. Moved to Chicago, three or four months, ran out of all the money I saved doing the editing job, and then got a job waiting tables with my friend Sam at Big Bull. Worked there for like two years. I loved my coworkers. Didn't feel like what I ultimately wanted to do. It felt like I was wasting my time, kind of. Looking back, I think I miss it more than the, all the other jobs because That's, of the people. It, the people at a server job really make or break it. Waiting tables to me is like probably the most useful experience. It taught me teamwork, how to talk to strangers, just try to give people a good experience. And now I appreciate the hard work people do that often goes unseen, I think more because I waited tables. Our experience has made us both better customers and more understanding. The front facing person, the server, takes the blame for anything that goes wrong. And yeah. maybe it's nobody's fault. And even if it is somebody's fault, like 
they're just a human person. People make mistakes. People make mistakes. There are customers who will like recommend you fire somebody because they made some mistake. Uh huh. That's stupid. We'll probably move on to R. Probably should, but I'm enjoying this conversation. Well, maybe you'll enjoy R. What's R? Recreation. Oh, oh yeah, that's fun. My this job. Right here. That's mostly what I do for recreation and for job. You also do a lot of physical activity. I work out nearly every day. Right now I'm trying to walk 20,000 steps every day for a video and I'm enjoying walking. I enjoy the crap out of it. I play Elden Ring a lot lately. I used to do a lot of meeting friends at bars back when I lived around my friends. And felt safe going to bars. Yes, and also back when I drank alcohol. Mm -hmm. My friend asked me to play guitar in his band and we played a show a month ago. So I'm back into playing guitar a little more. New York Times Spelling Bee every day. I play Wordle every day. Occasionally you and I will go out to eat or play board games. It's been a little while since we played a board game. We're gonna go to a movie tonight. Top Gun! Top Gun! <laughs> I've recently gotten into rock tumbling. I actually bought a rotary tumbler and a vibratory tumbler. I Keep need. it clean. So that's been 10 minutes of my time mm -hmm. every five or six days. I just finished Pillars of the Earth and it was great. I'm in the middle of the Wind Up Bird Chronicle. That took a little bit to get into, just like Pillars of the Earth for me, but now it's starting to get pretty good. Just like the movie Drive My Car, which I'm halfway through, mm -hmm. which is great, but really slow. In theory, I'd like to get into gardening and I'd like to be good at cooking. I would like that too. <laughs> if I was good at cooking? Yeah. I just want to have more opportunity to get a bunch of people together like I did during my bachelor party and do paintball, because that was one of the most fun things I've ever done. We don't really see people that often, yeah. it's probably mostly the pandemic. I think it's mostly having a kid. But I, it would be nice to see people more. It's lonely in this house. Yeah, come here, come here. I love you, at least I get to live with my best friend. Oh, Ada? Birdie. Birdie, okay. You yeah, birdie. Mm -mm. All right. Something that I've always wanted to try, indoor rock climbing. Everything has to do with rocks with you. I know, I just like, I wanna climb them, I wanna tumble them. You wanna? I wanna listen to it. Rocks and roll. My rocks are rolling right in the basement right down there. They are, If yeah. you listen, you can hear. Rock and roll, dude. D, dreams. I want to figure out what I want to be when I grow up. Sounds to me like you should do something that involves talking to people, maybe in the service industry. I really don't. What are your dreams? Make movies for a living. Yeah, I don't Take what I do now, but make it a little different. More people, bigger scale, different way of telling stories, because it's something I haven't really gone for yet. When I think about my heroes, who I want to emulate, I don't think of other YouTubers. I think of Steven Soderbergh, Paul Thomas Anderson, Martin Scorsese. That makes sense as your dream. I don't think I have anything like that. It feels kind of sad. It's not sad. You don't yeah. need you don't need to have anything like that. Yeah. I would like to continue learning more like woodworking skills. Would you um, like to build something? I want to build a little free library this summer. For that's a dream. Food. Go for it. And then when that's done, there'll probably be something else you want to build. I want to finish painting our doors. Dream. Dream, dream big, painting doors. You don't have to dream big. No one has to dream big. I'm probably an idiot for dreaming so big. No. Oh, no, well, not. okay, maybe I'm not an idiot for dreaming so big, but lots of people have gotten into lots of trouble for dreaming so big. Sure. Like uh, whoever that was who flew too close to the sun. Icarus, maybe? I don't know. We'll say Icarus. That's dreaming too big. Too big. I think that's it. Talking We've talked you. for like two hours, I think. Oh my gosh, I need to take a shower. I need to, I have a lot to edit now. My dream is to edit this video Don't massive. dream too big. You're right. Was it a good discussion? It was a great discussion. Honestly, was it a good discussion? Honestly, it was. And you good. glad we had it? I am glad we had it. Do you feel uh, closer to me because of it? I do feel closer to you because of that. I feel closer to you because of it. Aw. The I Ford method, it. it works for non-strangers too. I drive a Volkswagen. Okay. So. Over here is a video that YouTube thinks you'll like. Over here is the last video I did, why I never quit YouTube. Subscribe! And you can support me on Patreon and you can help me achieve my dreams and my family and my occupation and my recreation. You can help me achieve a little free library? Yeah. <laughs>